Alright, welcome back to Duncan Rumpa Trigger Happy Havoc. I just came out my room, I guess? Just to go immediately back in. Since I still haven't seen the bathroom. Doesn't quite fit in the door frame. Remember the trick to opening it. And I can't even do anything in the bathroom. Well, that was already a waste of time. Well, what about you? Uh, no, that's not what I want. Hey! Good morning, Makoto! G good morning. <laughs> yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. You understand? Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sh sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Probably. So, do I have any special indicators? I wanna go sh take a shower. That seems to be an appropriate thing to do. But the bathhouse is still out of order. Wait, what is this? <laughs> Oh, Jesus! Why is there so much to interact with? Washing machine. Not surprising this is the laundry room after all. There's some magazines laying around. Probably to kill time while you're waiting for your laundry. I mean... That... Of course not. This is a... This is a Christian visual novel. <sighs> hey, man. Good morning. What are you up to? And I do realize I make his voice absolute. I mean, that's what I think Stone Up sound like. But it doesn't match the voice. And I always kind of try that to, to sound like the... Well, which probably will never be absolutely accurate at all. Ever. But I just like... The idea of him talking like that. Uh, um, I'm doing my laundry. This is the laundry room, right? Are you feeling okay, Hero? You look totally beat. Actually, I'm fine. Just tired. I spent all. Oh, I spent all last night trying to contact the spirit world to find out why this is all happening to me. <sighs> Took all the mental juice I had too, but turns out they failed. Looks like something the ultimate clairvoyant would get into. Actually, is that really fortune telling? Talking with ghosts is not really fortune telling. What do we have here? A vending machine. It's always nice to have a drink while your laundry gets done. I have the feeling there's not much to be done here, so I won't. I mean, it's morning time, so we probably go eat. Oh no! He said I'm supposed to find the girl that apparently is my assistant now and will stab me in the back at the end of the game. Most likely. That's her, right? Sayaka? There's double next to the door. I guess I should use that. Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, Makoto, perfect timing. Huh? Um, listen. I have a favor to ask. A favor? Um... I was just getting ready to head out, if it's okay. Would you like to come with me? Or maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Uh, um... I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Wrong voice, um, God damn it! Well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us here. Whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other. Whoever put us in this insane position. She's right, we never know when they might attack. Um... So, I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect herself. Well, now that I think about it, this play case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff. Maybe... <laughs> oh, 
the gym? Okay, let's go! Uh, again? Like I said, I'm psychic. You always say that and then you say, No, I just have good intuition. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, we should head to the gym. And yes, probably I am. For anyone who just hates walking around school, we've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. It's as simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Thus, you can teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times when you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you could get lost. Forever. Well then, good luck and have fun. Wait, is that maybe Monokuma's voice? Or is that Tutorial Man's voice? So, I can act... How do I use the map for that? Oh yeah, he said... This one, map. And then we just... Wait, 75%? Wait, it actually shows where everyone is? Wait, the gym, there it is. Let's go in the girl's bathroom, no? Okay. Well, that looks like a good weapon. Hey, um... Here we go. I might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find something in the display case I can use. I mean, we can't just take stuff from here, can we? What about the katana? There. That's a good weapon. Is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in a gold coating. But... Jeez, I barely touched and got that gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um... Why? You're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um... You should take it with you. It might help liven up your room a little. You think so? But I guess you better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. Mm. I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, and the time comes, I'll protect you. Huh? You'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. I've got you on my side. Guess I don't need a weapon after all. Yeah, I just got punched through the through a whole room in the last episode. Mm-hmm. I'm very good at protecting. Sayaka giggled as she said that. That mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. Okay, we can st stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Okay, I mean, sure. Um. Hmm. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. I was the one who invited you to come with me too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. You can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Hmm. Stare off into space. Oh, but you're probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. Uh, um. No, it's not that it's boring. It's just... I... I've never really done it before. Don't let it help... I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I 
guess that makes sense? Not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. This is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? Well, I used to, kind of. Oh, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I... My dream is... I always wanted to be a star as long as I can remember. Mission accomplished, you are a, an idol singer. I grew up without a mother, you know. Oh, of course, that parents. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know, so I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess. And she could sing and dance. Ominous music. <laughs> but more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. So basically what her smile does, so it's just a scheme. She will stab me in the back someday. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually that became my dream. It's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I... Did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean, even some things that weren't so pleasant. You see... I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off your dream even for a second even if sometimes it's a bad dream whether you're awake whether you're asleep to make your dream a reality you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what um in that world if you lose focus for even a split second you get left behind you have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe it's the kind of world my dream lives in is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no! Don't get the wrong idea, it's super fun! But... It's exactly what scares me! Uh, um... I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We are vi rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young. So they are like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... The thing that scares me the most... But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? And the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their separate ways. Sayaka. She's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. You see? So, that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, um... They say that if you graduate from here, Success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but... Now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. <sighs> when I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Oh yeah, I can do that. Wow, when the life goes out of her eyes, she really looks kind of like a zombie, doesn't she? Minute by minute, minute, they're all disappearing. But still. Ayaka? Why? I Why? can't afford to be stuck in here! That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds desperate. Yep, she's gonna stab someone these days. I can't understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way? 
the dream she put so much effort into and is on the verge of disappearing forever. And yet she wanted to be my assistant while she is actually an idol. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. I'm still baffled about why would she choose me to be my assistant, quote unquote. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to complain. Uh, um. Kind of killed the mood, huh? Yes, absolutely. I mean, no, not at all. Sorry. Um, Sayaka? Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So... Okay! You want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook! Oh, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil! What? You mean the con... Diamond? <laughs> the condiment? <laughs> Just kidding! She burst out laughing. Earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how did it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. Eh, yeah, she's just playing the nice little girl. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat, before returning to our rooms. I mean, don't you have school or something? The only thing in my room is the fake sword covered in gold. And why did we just steal it? All it does is make you feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still pl plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Not at all! <laughs> Absolutely! As you live out your school life here, you will be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. Oh, of course, it is Persona-esque, isn't it? You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often! At certain points, you'll witness intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful at everything, as everything plays out. I can get skills? We strongly encourage, encourage you to develop a, and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also, keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. If a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If you prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then... Anyway, why don't you try out by spending some time with Miss Sayaka Maizono. She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? I mean, yes, but... No, that's what the game wants me to do, but what happens if I don't do that? Notepad should write what Sayaka told me earlier, and I don't do it after all. Let's see, in my room, fake sword, bam, more uncomfortable, can I go and pee? Well then, it's probably the best time to save than any. Oh yeah, I have to go to system, save. Oh, I can just save all that. It's not like I missed anything. There's no Oop. All right, let's look on my map, my handy dandy map. So, who would I like to spend more time with? He's in the laundry room. Stay in the kitchen. I know. Oh, Sayaka's room. What does that mean? That they are just standing around in the hallway? Hmm, maybe with this broody one I should spend some time. Or oh, the one that knocked me in the face! <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, who do I want to spend time with? Hmm. I mean, I really want to go out of my way to basically... Or should I not? I mean, I could spend... Hmm. I want to go there. Yep, yeah, I go to her. So, oh, it's a laundry room. I thought the bath was open. No, it was. Ooh, yes, that man. No, I want to spend time with that girl. She's 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 good with computers. Maybe she can hack us our way out here. What should I do? I'm kind of scared. Are we really trapped in here? Wait, that's all I can do? I thought... What should I do? Wait, what? How do I spend quality time with someone? How does it even look when you spend quality time with someone? Am I really stuck with talking to her? Oh, that's my room. Wait, Kyoko? I'm weirded out. I just want to see um, if there's listen. a if there's a prompt. You know, Makoto, I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Back up a while. Ah, oh, okay. That is. Go see who else is around. Okay, so I can. Well, then I go with the with the next best, I guess. Who do I want to spend time with? Mm. Oh, I know! The... Where, where is she? Wait, she... Oh! She's on the floor, okay. Mm. I want to talk with the mysterious one if possible. The one ultimate secret one. Must be somewhere around here. Okay. Where is she? She's apparently somewhere on this floor, but... Where exactly? Ah, there she is! Why? Let's help speak academy like this. Very bizarre. Wait, so I can't spend time with anyone other than Sayoko? That would be lame. Let me have my own adventure, goddammit. Getting stuck in here is like totally disgusting. I want to get out of here. That really... Oh, come on, there must be another option. Or is it still tutorial area, so it's totally impossible to do anything new? Everyone's working hard trying to find an exit, are they not? Hmm, good luck with that. I have not interest in such menial labor. Well? Wait, wasn't there a kitchen? Ah, there we go. How do we get out of here? There's got to be an exit somewhere. Um. Hey, did you find a, a way out of here? Aww. I didn't find a thing. Nothing. Zippo zilch. Lost all my motivation. <gasps> a knife! Some kitchen knives hanging on the wall. There's a whole bunch of different kinds. I had no idea you needed so many to cook. Well... They killed with the knife from the kitchen in the dining hall or something. Hmm. Oh, I talk to her, talk to I 
think there's really no one else I can talk to. Ahoy hoy, remember me? The one and only he for me, Yamada! Uh, yeah, great. You are the one who... who... sold the pawn magazines. Okay, how about her? It's the super hyper tsundere. I guess we should press the doorbell. What's your problem? What are you doing here? Why do you have to go through all this? Oh god, she's losing it. Didn't do anything to deserve it! And she's gone. Can I do that again? Oh, okay, it's the same outcome. Great, it's all, all great, great, it's great. And let's go on the map and teleport to the second floor. There you are. <laughs> Hello there. Listen, who are you again? I apologize for my poor memory. It's just so hard to remember things I don't care about. I expected nothing less, to be honest. There's a little bit too much loading going on for my taste. <laughs> Okay, there's no one here anyway, so... I'm gonna go here. I think I'm just wasting time and it will not progress whatsoever. Um... Yep, this is definitely the school store, but it's kind of Japanese Western blend. It seems more like a cluttered antique store. The hell is this coinage? What's this? Oh, maybe if I turn the knob, a price will come out. Learn more about it. During your stay, uh, you'll find coins scattered throughout the school. These mono coins are treasures valued by kings and thieves alike. You can use the handbook menu to see how many mono coins you currently have. In this machine, there's a chance you could win a prize. The more coins you use, the better chance you have of getting something new. Like the present section. To... Oh. No. Okay, that's what they are for. Great. And I just realized I'm in the wrong store, apparently. Is this the right one? Yeah. Hi. Hmm. I'm kind of busy here, man, looking for an exit. <laughs> Did that sound convincing? Totally just slacking off. I'm sure we get out of here somewhere. Somehow. Somewhere over the reindeer or something? Let's see. Okay, this is this is probably kind of my only try at this, and then I just go with whoever comes in front of me first. Talk with him. Maybe I should talk with him. Hey, listen. Seriously, we're seriously trapped in here? Uh, wow, this really feels like a ginormous waste of time. What is here? Why does it have a teddy bear thing? Well, well, the door won't budge. It must be locked. Maybe I can get more Momong coins. Oh, someone is actually at school at the school thingy. The spare hotel. Wait, 
Wait, what? Oh. All right then. This blackboard belongs to us now. Secret beauty. <laughs> Can't believe how bizarre Hope's Peak Academy turned out to be. What the heck? It's made me weak. It's made me depressed. Wait, maybe I should have. I mean, I know who probably did it, but oh boy. Wait, I can't even interact with it. Aw, oh, that's a black. Oh well. Last one. Can I actually buy something in the store? This is the desk I woke up on when I first got here. The little pamphlet is still laying there. I have absolutely no desire to look at it ever again. Hi, you punched me in the noggin. Hey, come on. Can't believe how pissed off I am right now. Stop fucking around. When are they gonna let us out of this hellhole? I wanna talk to the manager. You already did. And he almost exploded. In your face. <sighs> Wait, but that is... How is that a store? I mean, can you actually interact with more? Oh, well, let's see. Mm, this is one of the monitors. Right now, it's just showing the school quest. When I think about when he might show up on that next time. Look. Okay. Well, let's look at this. A vending machine. I guess this must be the school store then. I mean, duh, but like, what to actually do here? A surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. I that it's against school regulations. Gets my nerves, better leave it alone. Okay, so the store is absolutely useless. Alright then, for now at least. Well, I guess I have to pursue the force plot point. And spend some time with her since the tutorial demands me to. Um, listen. Can I actually save right here? Yes, I can. Oh. So anxious, I'm really afraid. Talk. Yep, spend some time with Sayaka. Um, you're going to try and cheer me up? Sorry. For making you take time out of your day like this. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sayaka a present? Yes, definitely. Do you even have anything? Here, take my school quest. Here, take this. Can't let you give her that. It's what when in the industry like to call a key item. <laughs> well, can you even have presents? At no, I can't give up. I don't have anything. So yeah, I'm sure. Um... Makoto, you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? Wait, didn't we just spend time together? I... Well, it's just... I guess that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Uh, um... If you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. It'd be lost. But that's why... I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but... I'm relieved you're with me. There, Carl. Why is she coming on so hard? Is she... It's either very desperate or... She 
just tries to get my trust and then abuse me or kill me at some point. Standing here face to face and hearing her say that. It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. Being here is what saved me. <sighs> really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. I see the murder in her eyes already. That smile. A mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. Hmm. It's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... She's a secret stalker! Because I looked at you all the time. Huh? I... Was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But... Since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. It was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Um... Do you remember during our first year of junior high? A huge bird wandered into the school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. It was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle wants every million years. That bird wants every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been... What? Crane, a sparrow, a hell... Oh, and I can't save here, of course. Probably a sparrow. Sparrow, why? Right? Hey, um. Oh, but sparrows were really coming around there, right? We had a whole flock living there. Okay, you know what we're doing. <laughs> all right, that's already a great start. Where was the latest save? There we go. All right then, I now know what to look out for. Uh, I... <laughs> but that's why. <sighs> I mean, who who thought that I wouldn't wouldn't abuse the safe system like that who wouldn't in the white mind abuse the safe system like that how would i know something out of how would i even know the answer to that i'm not i don't live in japan or anywhere or hear of the legend of the crane and the turtle hey um i but um Okay, let's save again. Go upon junior high, it might have been... Crane. It was a crane! It just walked right into the pond. Okay. That's right, that's what it was. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> but you led it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me do it. You see? should have said thank you then, but is it okay if I do it now? Thank me. I... I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. Wait, what? No. No. <laughs> She's messing with me, isn't she? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I kind of figured. But honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you even just once. Uh, um. I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. 
Yeah, if we met again at a train station somewhere downtown, it'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out. Just like that crane. He'll save me. She wet my mind again. You see? It's just intuition, I know. But I still believe it. You are my ticket out of here. After I murder you in your sleep. I'm going to save her? Do my best, I promise that. Make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. Because I'm totally love struck and... Oh boy. He's already falling into a trap. She's the first one to go, I already feel it. <laughs> or I am the first... No, I can't be the first one to go, that would be game over. I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm psychic. Oh boy. <laughs> kidding, kidding. She laughed out loud as she said it. I have the feeling she's not kidding at all. The closer we get, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. I was glad to feel that way. That guy's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked the skill Melodious Voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. I should do this in the Monokuma voice just because I like it. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Oh boy. Oh! Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Wait, they have to restock the food, so they have to come from so the food has to come from the outside. Maybe that's a way out? Today's already come to an end. But I swear, tomorrow I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear. As my eyelids began to slide closed, the conversation I had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did. So I can't say a few things the way she does. Compared to her, no. Compared to everyone else here, there's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. Monokuma the what now? Ahem! <laughs> so I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but... There's still room for a little laughter. It seems our new students are already so filled with despair, still have some hope of escape. <laughs> so when will it begin? When will the hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Heart pounding excitement! Heart pounding excitement indeed! <laughs> Good morning! everyone it is now 7 a.m and nighttime is officially over time to rise and shine get ready to greet another beautiful day morning has come what should i do today wait there's already free time well i guess we made no, we almost made no progress whatsoever. 
But there's something I have to do right now. So that's the episode for today, even though it was kind of weird and uneventful almost. In any case, stay tuned for more and see you next time.